Hi, my name is Teddy, and I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a car amplifier um, diagnostic. Uh, the first four things you need in a car amplifier would be your constant power, your remote power, a good ground, and your RCA signal. So if something goes wrong with your amplifier, these would be the first things you would want to check. By using your standard 12-volt test light, anything you can pick up at your auto parts store. So after finding a good grounding spot for your test light, you would first want to test your constant power. If you get a light, that means your constant power is good. Then you can actually test your remote power with the car on. If you don't get a light, usually that could be one of your problems. You don't have remote wire, and you would want to test where you hooked it up, if the fuse blew or if the wire came unconnected. If you don't get a um, signal off your power wire, again, you would want to check to see if the signal running to your battery, the fuse on that blew as well. A way to reverse it to check for ground, you would want to put onto your power wire the signal, stab into there onto your ground, and then test it. It should also be lit up. If you don't have it on there, it means either your ground has come undone or you don't have it ground to a solid point onto the chassis. After testing those three, if your amplifier still does not work, um, you would want to check to make sure your RCAs are plugged in or there is no break in the RCA point. A way to test if your speakers are working actually as well is you can use a 9 volt up to a 12 volt battery, test the positive and negative to each of your wires, and you'll be able to hear a small popping sound off of your speaker and that'll tell you if your speakers are connected right. So the four things you would want to look for is making sure you have continuous power, remote power, ground, your RCAs are working. And then if everything's still, if everything checks over good, then you would want to continue to check if your speaker is working by testing with the 9-volt battery.